your video has gone completely exploding all over the place. You're like a grassroots hero now. I hope you're okay with that. Absolutely thrilled. <laughs> uh, when you speak truth to power, people respond. You know, when you fight for working class people, working class people fight for you. So even though I'm not the spokesperson of anybody other than myself, this is something that I care passionate about. It's something that matters to me. We're really talking about our future. What type of country do we want to be? Are we going to be the country with a third world standard of living for the mass majority of people, but a tax sheltered kind of setup for everybody else? I don't want that. I want a country where everybody has a fair opportunity, where everybody has a chance to earn a decent living, where everybody has a chance for an education, a retirement. I don't think we should all work until we die in order to pay off the debts that these guys ran up on Las Vegas, Wall Street, whatever you want to call it. So to me, the response has been overwhelmingly supportive. Another question. Um, I think people were extremely excited because Fox tends to set up its questions uh, so you already know what the answer is supposed to be and you really circumvented that that uh, that process with them and I really liked your answer about how we keep asking the wrong questions of the president can you speak a little more a bit more absolutely about that? you know I honestly don't want to hear where the jobs are from the guys who filibustered the jobs bill uh, to me it's uh, very cynical and I take offense to that but I think the the criticisms we should have with Obama are on a rational level instead of trying to gin up every little uh, thing that happens as a scandal you know a lot of people took offense to what I said about Soylandra. And my issue with Soylandra was that we wasted a hundred times that money in the wars in Iraq and Afghanistan. If, if you're really a fiscal conservative and you're concerned about losing money, how could you sit silent while that's taking place? But the larger point is when it comes to criticism of our predecessors, whatever party they're from, let's make it reality-based criticism. Let's make it criticism that actually affects people's lives instead of playing petty polit political games with people who are bribed on both sides. Right. Let's, 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 let's talk a little bit about Soylandra. Um, because a lot of people have been criticizing this and Fox has been talking about it 24-7, but compare that to the amount that China has invested in solar power, it's pretty difficult for our country to compete on an international level when that's the only investment we've ever made in green energy. Can you talk a little bit more Absolutely. about that? See, what happened was it's uh, the law of, return, uh, of diminishing returns. Uh, since China and other countries are investing so much into it, the prices went down so that they were able to produce the solar energy that the world wants, but the cost of it wasn't enough to be effective. Now, here's the thing. When we are investing in green energy, that makes people shriek. But if we were to give $6 billion to profitable oil companies to basically subsidize their bonuses and their CEO salaries, I don't hear a word about that. You know, to me, it makes me laugh when certain spending is good, other spending is bad. If you're going to be an extremist, you're not allowed to have exceptions. So one last, one last message. Um, we noticed, and I think a lot of people noticed, that Fox didn't actually air your interview. Maybe that's changed. I don't know. Has it changed? No, it hasn't changed. In fact, I did an interview with the New York Observer uh, last night, and they asked if I would go back on. And I posted this on my blog as a question to my readers, like, well, what do you guys think? Should I go there and, you know, go into the lion's den, or should I just dismiss them as the propaganda organization that they are? They're not legitimate news. And I told the New York Observer, I'm not going to go into a situation where I can be uh, put in a position where I can't win. It's like, if I were to sit down and play chess with you, but you get to make up your own rules. I can't win that game. Why do it? You know. So my thing is, I'm willing to speak to anybody in the media who's going to give me a fair platform to have my voice heard. If you're really fair and balanced, run my damn video. If not, change it and just let it be the new slogan: fair and balanced, like a thumb on the scales, because that's what it really is. Right. So thank you so much, and I think our ending uh, message is: uh, Fox, run the damn video. Run the damn video. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> Amen. Thank you. And thank you guys for being here. I'm so encouraged that we have so many people of all walks of life, all sorts of nationalities, gender, uh, sexual orientation. It doesn't matter. Age, it doesn't matter. We're all working for the same thing. And we're all getting screwed by the same people. So it's pretty obvious. So to the media at large, when you ask why are these people here, we're getting screwed and you're not helping. Maybe changing that would be a little bit better for your ratings.